Hi, guys, and welcome to an interview with Glenetta Griffin. We have an amazing show for you today. A very exciting guest, a wonderful friend. I met her years ago at a very similar event that we're going to discuss today. But I want you guys to talk to her and listen to her and learn all about her cause. Today, we have Erica Lee. Erica, how are you? And welcome to the show. Hi, I'm fine. Thank you. Thank you. Absolutely. Thank you for being here. Absolutely. Good. So let's talk about the PURSE Foundation, P-U-R-S-E. Tell us, what does that stand for? Well, the PURSE Foundation stands for Partnering Under Real Situations Every Day. And it addresses the question, what are you carrying? Okay. Because we all carry something, you know. Right, right. So I want to know, why did you even start this? Like, how did the PURSE Foundation even come about? Well, I have to tell you, it wasn't something that I longed to do, that I planned or even intended to do. It actually, ironically, it happened by, um, actually, I, have to, I was in a, um, a, I was in an abusive relationship. But during that time, um, I had a friend named, college mate named Nova Henry. Okay. The time I was in an abusive relationship, she was murdered. And during that time, that made me reflect upon the situation that I was dealing with. And she was murdered and her nine month old daughter as a result of domestic violence. Oh my goodness. So that made me reflect on my relationship even even that much more and made me realize, you know what, I gotta get out of this before mm -hmm. what happened to her actually happens to me. And it was so real because we went to school together. And mm -hmm. so I, I just was scared. And so from that time on, I began to continue to pray and, and have dreams about her. And one particular dream that I had, it was about the word purse with black letters and periods between each letter. And I woke up and I said, God, what does purse mean? Mm -hmm. And later on that day, I came across the article with Nova's mother holding a purse saying, this purse is symbolic to me because I now have to be a voice for my daughter and my granddaughter who were victims of domestic violence. And I knew at that moment that God had given me a dream to turn into a reality. Wow. So that is such an amazing story. And I'm definitely sorry that, you know, you guys have gone through this and your friend, but I commend you for stepping up and being a voice for her and representing for their family. And I'm sure they're very proud of you and supporting you. Let's talk about what the Purse Foundation actually does. So what Tell us about the educational programs or the education that you actually offer to people. Yes, well, our, our mission is to educate, encourage, and empower teens and people overall to take a stand against violence. Mm -hmm. And we know that if you don't know what the signs are, you don't know what to look out for. Simply myself, I didn't know the signs. I had mistaken so many signs as love. So mm -hmm. our job is to correct what we think the perception, what the perception of love is. Right. So some people think that hitting from their abuse, from their dating partner is love. They think that jealousy is love. And so it's our job to go into the schools, churches and communities and educate wherever possible. And how we do that, we host a we host continuous workshops throughout the year um, at events, uh, when, and we go whenever requested. And we educate young girls and young boys. And for our young girls, what we give them is what's called a trinket. We give them a love affirmation scarf at the end of the presentation. And we wrap those scarves around, around those young ladies and let them know that if anybody's going to wrap anything around you, let it be filled with love. Mm -hmm. Same like our boys, we offer a tie training class throughout our workshop as well. And that tie also represents that same meaning that if anyone's going to wrap anything around you, also let it be filled with warmth and love. So our goal is to provide continuous education on what a possible abusive dating partner may look like. Wow, that's amazing. And I think that some people may shy away from attending certain events or plugging into these things because they're afraid. And a lot of people, and this is a very private subject. Like if you're going through something at home or in a relationship, you don't usually want people to know that because it's embarrassing. So what would you say to someone that's at home that may watch this interview and they're afraid to step out and afraid to get help or to tell someone, what message would you have to tell them? Well, I would tell them quite like myself, I was afraid because this wasn't supposed to be my life. I was not supposed to be in an abusive relationship. I didn't grow up in an abusive household. I didn't see that. So how could it be me? High school, I was I was on a chilling team. I was captain. I was president of student council. All these things. And I'm like, how did I get here? And if anybody knows, oh, my gosh, this is embarrassing. I'm ashamed. Mm -hmm. but what I have to tell you is not your fault. Mm -hmm. It's not your fault. 
But had I continued to carry that secret burden in my purse that I was in an abusive relationship, then nobody could help me. Mm -hmm. It was only when I reached out that my family and friends were able to reach in and help me get to a point to where I am now and to be able to help you and the voiceless, the ones who are not seen, the ones who are not heard. So you have to tell someone so someone can help you. You can't carry that alone. So that's why we say, what are you carrying? Because it's right. not for you to carry alone. Right, right. Absolutely. And you guys, um, I love the work that you're doing. I love um, that you guys are you know, creating this outlet for people and educating people. And I, I really hope that someone in needs will actually, you know, reach out and, and plug into you guys. Um, you have an event coming up, a, an amazing event on September 29th. Tell us about it and how do we attend? Absolutely. So the event that's coming up on September 29th, um, it's going to be held at Tri-Cities High School from 3 to 530. This mm -hmm. event is to bring awareness to the issue of teen dating violence and domestic, domestic violence. Okay. It's a program to where you are able to learn about it through the arts, the arts of dancing, the art of singing, the art of poetry, the mm -hmm. art of even people just sharing their stories, their survival stories. To empower you to know that you're worthy of being loved but being loved the right way so that event is our sixth um, annual event and so we invite it's a family oriented oriented event so you know please bring your families out to the event to mm -hmm. to for this awareness event it's just an awareness program and this event serves as a um it allows us enables purse to continue to do what we're doing to continue to offer free teen dating violence workshops to continue to go to the shelters where people have been impacted by domestic violence and continue to serve them. So mm -hmm. this event is very crucial to Purse Foundation continue to do the work that we do within the community. Awesome. That's good stuff. Um, are you familiar with any um, lines or somewhere if someone is not quite ready, you know, to, to go all in and really put themselves out there. Are there any anonymous tip lines that someone can call in something for somebody else or for somebody to, you know, call in and maybe just get some advice? Absolutely. There are a lot of resources out here and we actually have those on our website at www.pursefoundation.org. Um, if anyone needs um, to find out any more, some resources available to them, um, they're definitely on our website. Awesome. That's good. Let's go ahead and plug your social media. So I want to make sure that everyone out there can locate you guys. Um, I want to know how to get tickets for your event on September 29th. Okay, perfect. So definitely you can find and learn more about Purse Foundation on our Facebook page at Purse Foundation Inc. So mm -hmm. if you go to our Purse Foundation Inc. page, you will find the advertisement, the flyer for the upcoming event on September 29th, you'll find it there and you can click on that Eventbrite link and it'll take you to the, the portal to purchase your tickets. Tickets are only $20 and it comes with food and a complimentary gift bag and just so many wonderful talents by high schools. We have Westlake High School that will be in attendance, Lithonia High School, and also Tri-Cities High School Band will be there with us as well. So mm -hmm. please bring your family and friends out to this event. And again, that's Purse Foundation, Inc. on Facebook. Awesome. Good stuff. Erica, thank you so much. Before we close out, I, I know that a lot of people, when it's Domestic Violence Awareness Month or Breast Cancer Awareness Month, we really push content a lot harder. What, what motivation can you give us to raise awareness for domestic violence all year long? Well, you, you, the motivation I give to someone is, you know, it could very well be you, your family member, your mm -hmm. friend, those people you love right right there within your circle. It affects one in four people. So you got to know within those four people, one person can be affected by it. So it, it can happen to anybody, any mm -hmm. any class, any race. It doesn't matter. It can be you. So definitely just, you know, I would just tell someone to continue to remember that, that t today is someone, but tomorrow it could be you. So that's something that you should continue to push throughout the year because it's a it's, it's it's alive and it's prevalent and it's happening to so many people and it doesn't have a face. Absolutely. Thank you so much. I want to thank you for the work that you're doing with the thank Purse you. Foundation. Thank you for signing up for this cause. I really hope that um, someone can plug in and get the help that they need. You know, I want to see more people. Uh, and I say people because people are automatically assume it's just women, but I want to see more people pull out of this situation on both sides of it. So 
Thank you for all the work that you do. Thank you for the amazing interview. I look forward to plugging in and seeing you guys on the 29th. And congratulations yeah. on your sixth annual event. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Absolutely. All right, guys, that's it for now. Follow me at glenetagriffin.com and we'll see you next time. Thank you.